You know that you wrong and I 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 Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to use the best build-up settings for different trees resolve. Um, these are going to be the best build-ups for your montages. Uh, build-ups are, are basically effects that come before the impact to help build tension and make the impact itself look better. And there are many different types of build-ups, including shake build-ups, darken build-ups, like audio build-ups, all that kind of stuff. And there's also over-edit build-ups, which will also be in the description below. But today I'm just going to be showing you guys some of the best ones that I personally use for myself. So enough talking. Let's get straight into DaVinci Resolve. Really quickly before we get into DaVinci, uh, today's sponsor is Filmy. Uh, Filmy is a free to use editing software on PC and this software allows really easy access to beginners and it's also really easy to run on your computer. Another thing that makes Filmy stand out from its competitors is it's, is it's easy to access tutorials that are on its YouTube channel, linked in the description below. They release new tutorials every week with examples like how to remove watermarks and that kind of stuff. Another thing is that they are hosting a giveaway right now for their uh, 1,000 subscribers giveaway and they are giving away Beats headphones, Blue Yeti microphones, and, and licenses for their software. So yeah, it's going to be a lot of stuff you can win and plus they only have a thousand subscribers and they're giving away this much stuff which means it is easier to win. If you want a good chance at winning this giveaway then just go ahead and follow the steps in the video in the description down below. Filmy is also continuously introducing a bunch of new features like just now they've added the ability to transfer data from your phone and recording inside of the application and there is going to be a lot more things that are going to come for Filmy and for example keyframes should be coming soon and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, If you want to step your montage up from iMovie or something then go ahead and check Filmy down in the description below. Alright guys, now that we are in DaVinci Resolve, uh, right here I have a clip, I already have the velocity set up and the clip synced, so let's just, I'm just gonna go and play this really quickly. So yeah, that's pretty much it without any, like, effects at all. I'm just gonna go ahead and copy this four times because we are gonna be showing, I'm gonna be showing you guys four effects here, so this is one, two, three, and four. So four of the same exact clips, and I'm gonna be, and I'm gonna be showing you guys how to add in the presets. So first thing you want to do, uh, you want to go ahead and drag in an adjustment clip. There we go, we have adjustment clip. Make sure it is on the marker as well. Make sure your adjustment clip on the marker. Just go ahead and zoom in here. Yeah, we can see it's on the marker, right? So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into Fusion and make sure we are on the first frame of the adjustment clip, by the way. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and drag in whatever kind of uh, build up you want. So first I'm gonna be showing you guys the most basic one. This is a darken before shot. It just kind of makes your uh, clip darker before the shot. It's really nothing special, but you're gonna go ahead and put this. You're just gonna go ahead and go into fusion. You're gonna go to this white marker here. You're gonna go back into that tab. You're gonna cut it right here delete that and then we're going to put the end of the adjustment clip on in the beginning of the uh end of the adjustment clip on the beginning of the marker so this is how it's going to look so yeah there's no impact I'm, actually i'm going to go ahead and add in an impact really quickly just because why not you know so yeah we just added in an impact right here really quickly and i'm just going to go and play it now so yeah it's lagging a little bit but you know you can kind of get it and it like this darken just kind of makes like this darken before the shot kind of just builds it up and then like on the shot it just all fades out and then you can see like the nice impact there and i'm just going to go ahead and get in another adjustment clip and we're going to go to the first frame of the adjustment clip again and now i'm going to be showing you guys a different build up so this this time i'm going to show the second more second advanced which is the uh, uni vhs and s shake so what you can see here that there are two here and then it kind of fades in here i didn't really get the keyframes down for this one as well but you can see it fades in here and then it goes all the way to 100 percent so what we're going to do is we're going to go into fusion i mean go back to our edit tab we're going to go ahead and line our red marker here into the white marker we're going to go ahead and cut it and then go back here and then we're going to cut it again right here on the other marker so we're going to delete the rest of the adjustment clip because we don't need that at all and we're just going to go ahead and put the end of the adjustment clip on the beginning of you know end of the adjustment clip on the beginning of the marker so this is how it's going to look so it's going to be the same impact and then we're going to have like a really nice vhs build up so yeah 
For this one, you will need universal plugins, so that might be hard to get for some of you guys. But yeah. Next, I'm going to be showing you the third one, which is the third advance. This is pretty easy, actually. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and copy the uh, impact one more time. And yeah, let's just go ahead and drag in another adjustment clip. I'm going to be showing you guys the third one. I named this the Shard Bulge Pre-Shot because uh, at the time of making this, it reminded me of Bulge. But now it kind of reminds me of like Sack and, you know, that kind of that kind of editor sack maxi whatever but you can see here it starts off with nothing and then it fades into this so yeah this looks super sick this is just my opinion this looks super sick but you're gonna go ahead and line it up where there's two uh white dots here two white markers here we're gonna line that up and we're gonna just cut it wherever you want so right here just like that and then now we can play it back So this one's super hard to play back, but I'm just gonna play this back in Fusion really quickly. So yeah, see that looks super sick, and yeah, that is pretty much the third effect. This one's really easy. Uh, there's another thing that you can pair it with that I sometimes do, but I'm sometimes too lazy to do. But it is this spiral like overlay thing. Uh, I'm gonna link this in the description as well. It's a spiral overlay and you can just put it above the uh, clip here. We can see here that it looks terrible because it's just blacked out. But if we go ahead and go down to editor inspector, go to video, composite, and we change this to add, then you can see that this looks super clean and you can see the spiral kind of fade in as well. Yeah, and then we obviously have to cut it after the impact ends and you're just gonna go ahead and give it a little bit of fade in. Yeah, you can see that looks super sick. I really love that effect a lot. But yeah. All right, so now on to the last one, and this one should be the more most advanced one because you will need to mask it. And yeah, let's just get straight into it. So let's just go ahead and drag in another adjustment clip, and make sure we're on the first frame of the adjustment clip. We're gonna go into Fusion, and we're gonna go ahead and drag in this preset called the Nadav Pre Shot Bulge. So I called that. I called it that because it has a bulge on it and yeah so oh wow this chroma key here isn't really needed i don't know why i added that in there but you know you can just delete it when you have it because it's completely unnecessary but anyways now that we're in fusion just go ahead and select all these clips so we're gonna go ahead and go to the last like white marker here and we're gonna line it, our red marker up there and we're gonna go ahead and cut it and now that it's cut we're just gonna go ahead and put this on here and then we can just go ahead and back go back into fusion now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the first frame and we're going to add in a PLY. PLY is a polygon. But a PL, anyways, a PLY is a polygon and it kind of just masks out everywhere. Uh, you don't really have to understand this. You could like learn it if you wanted it to, but uh, I'm just going to be showing you the basic steps of it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and drag in our polygon. And we're going to go to a frame where the character is in like all in frame like this one you don't want it to be crouching you don't want, actually you don't want the clip to have any crouching parts at all you just want to have like this super nice clip and it doesn't really have any crouching in the characters in frame that the entire time and what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and make a diamond shape around it and we're going to go ahead and select the entire thing by just dragging over it and then we're going to go click this round but round button thing it smoothens it and then you can see there a perfect circle a perfect oval at, at least and then what we're gonna do is just go ahead and turn up the soft edge a little bit because we don't want, uh, yeah, just turn up the soft edge just like that. And that right there is already the, right there is already the NADAF like kind of body glow effect. I'm gonna just go ahead and turn up the body glow a little bit more. I mean the soft edge a little bit more because I like how it looks. But yeah, I think this should look pretty good now. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna go ahead and go through the entire frame and make sure the characters in the like tiny circle thing the entire like the entire clip and if it if he isn't we can just go ahead and move the character as well so it's not really a big deal either so yeah you can see the characters in the frame the entire time so we got pretty lucky with this clip that the character is not like out of frame but it, if it is out of frame you can just move one of these dots outside and it will keyframe it automatically for you so you don't really have to worry about the timing and that kind of stuff so yeah i mean you can see here as i scrub through the footage there is absolutely no frame where the character is out of the out of the shot so yeah that's really good 
so next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and copy this polygon and we're going to paste this polygon and we're going to connect it to the second color character right here so this color character and you can see it kind of makes the entire clip lighter that is good because we uh makes the entire clip lighter and we're just going to go ahead and connect it to the color character i'm going to go ahead and click on invert so now we can see here that only like the outside of the mask has the darken effect and the inside the mask does not have the darken effect which is kind of what we're going for and yeah this is pretty much it so i can't really play this back because this will be super super laggy but uh you will see a preview on screen right here and yeah well uh, anyways that is pretty much it for the effects I'm showing you in this tutorial. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this type of video, um, or if you want more of these kind of presets, then, uh, I don't know, subscribe, follow on Twitter. I don't know. If you want an uh, edit made by me for only $10, you can also DM me on Twitter at Chop6YT, or it will be linked down in the description as well. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoy this video. The Blurmo Curve video should be coming pretty soon, but yeah. This is what won the polls. This is what I'm, video I'm doing. And yeah. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this video. And peace out.